Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I am adding this particular video to my YouTube channel uh, entitled Living in Israel. I've mentioned this on a few different videos. It is little tips and tricks I've discovered over my seven years since I made Aliyah slash moved to Israel. Um, that makes life a little bit easier. Uh, so if you want to find more of these, please check that out. Not that I'm the uh, be all and be all and end all expert on living in Israel, but I have figured out some things. Today's video, perhaps very random, is uh, the process you need to go through if you've ordered something from Amazon and you want to have it collected from a post office rather than have it come to your door. Um, why would one want to do this? Because in my experience, ordering things from Amazon here tends to work a bit less well than ordering in the US. Um, I found that postal workers frequently will not leave it at the door, even if that's the, the delivery instruction you've added to Amazon. And then it becomes a whole hassle of trying to pick it up inevitably from some inconvenient location. So what I do is proactively reroute my Amazon deliveries to my nearest post office. And that way, all I need to do is wait for a notification that it's at the post office, walk 100 meters up the road, and collect it there's no uh, dealing with annoyed delivery people to deal with so how to do this so when you've ordered from Amazon at a certain point you're going to get a delivery notification message like the one I'm showing on my screen now it's gonna say it's gonna have your tracking number in the header and it says I'm translating the Hebrew here Hoda'a al mishloach shemisparo and then the tracking number that means a message about the uh, delivery package whose tracking number is whatever it is and it's going to come from Israel Post. Now the way you know this is genuine because there have been unfortunately some phishing scams related to um, Doar Israel is that it comes from postil.com that's the domain sender so it's always worth checking that it's a genuine message um, besides the fact that if it is genuine it will have all of these details. So just reading this message, it says Shalom and then your name and it says Mishloach Ma Amazon Mispar and then your tracking number, Bidarko La Aretz, it's on its it's on its way to Israel, Visafui Lehimaser Biyamim Hakovim Velo Yeucha Metarich Blah. So um it's expected to be um delivered in the coming days but not after this date. That's the maximum expected delivery date. So the delivery, the uh, package will be delivered to the address that was specified at the time of placing the order. Then you should see your address. Um, and my excuse if my pronunciation is imperfect. This is intended for how to do it rather than how to speak Hebrew perfectly. Uh, so um, you it's poss it's possible to update the uh, address for delivery using this link and that's not the one you want the one you want is or you can choose to receive the delivery package at a delivery center by clicking on this link and then you want to click on this link the other two links just to finish this out is to follow the status of the package for additional details including uh, information um, about personal the personal import of goods in other words tax limits and uh, customer service click here so it's the third link on that email and when you do get to that email it's going you're going to get to a, a page on israelpost.co.il and it's going to have your delivery number and address pre-populated um, now you can see it selected a red in red Nikuda Misira delivery point and then you simply have to type in your city where it says Yishuv. Uh, okay, so that means uh, city. So I'm going to select Jerusalem here. I'm going to select Yerushalayim. And then you can put in your uh, Nikudat Misira and you have a lot of options. After you click on 
that it's going to send a two-factor authentication code to the um, number associated with your order, your cell phone number, and wait for that to come momentarily. And then you need to click on confirm. And that is the process completed after this. Uh, you do receive a message usually on the screen to say that the change uh, of uh, routing for the package has been completed successfully and it's now coming to a delivery point. Hope this video on um, how to reroute your Amazon packages to a delivery point, very specific I realize, was useful if you do live in Israel. If you'd like to get more videos for me related to living in Israel, technology and many other topics, subscribe. Or if you just want to follow videos about living in Israel, keep an eye on the YouTube playlist Living in Israel and I'll put a link to that in the description of this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.